welcome back to GT Fitness and Lifestyles YouTube channel. My name is Chris, I'm a qualified personal trainer. This is your first time here. Please go back and have a look at my welcome video. A little pop-up will pop up at the top of the screen here with a link to it. Okay, today is Wednesday. We are going to jump into programming. I am gonna give you a little bit of information on how to structure a workout for general purpose fitness or general workouts basically, just to keep up with your fitness, keep up with your general cardio needs, stamina, what your goals are in that aspect. And also I'm gonna cover a weight loss program. So with the weight loss program, it's a little bit more involved than what's on the board here, so I'll cover that in a minute. So let's just have a look. For a general purpose workout, the way I would structure it on a Monday is I'd do the heavier stuff, which is a strength. Then I'd have a rest on Tuesday. Cardio on core on a Wednesday. Rest again on Thursday. And a general workout on a Friday. So what this would be is for strength, I would focus on the main, main muscles or main muscle groups. Main muscle groups, okay. Cardio on core, so that could be running. Riding a bike. Walk, walking the dog, walking around the block, walking in general, all depending on your goals. Again, rest, and for a general workout would be full body, oh, looks like an A, full body workout. Similar to the program that I've done. So three compound movements for each body part or each muscle group. So your main muscle groups that you would target for strength would be your chest, your back and your legs. Same with the general full body workout that you would concentrate more on higher reps in a general workout. So more maintenance style, cardio, that all depends on what your goals are with that in a general sense. So if you wanna be able to walk for longer, run for longer, ride a bike for longer, would all depend on what you do and for how long. So, you know, if I was going for a run, I would say for, be, for a beginner, 20 minutes. For someone that's a little bit more advanced, 45 minutes. Someone that's after doing marathons and things and has been training for quite a while, you could run for up to an hour. Riding a bike, again, same sort of thing. You know, 30 minutes for a beginner, 40 minutes, 45 minutes for someone's a little bit more intermediate. Walking, again, same thing. On the rest days, that doesn't mean you're not working out or not doing things. On those rest days are the days that you let your body recover, yes, but you can also add in like your cardio day here and your core, you can do some more core or abs work, or you can do a little bit more walking. Active recovery will help the muscles repair faster and the pain to go for less time. Little rule of thumb, sore muscles means that you've got delayed onset muscle soreness, which is also called DOMS. That just means that you've had a good workout, your muscles have had all those little micro tears and they're starting to repair. When you're going for a general workout or general fitness or general, sorry, general maintenance, you're not gonna have as bad of DOMS. You may not even get DOMS. You may just be just there to maintain the muscle and just go through the workout just to keep the muscle size or keep active to keep weight down, weight loss down. You could be in the final stages of where you're at with a weight loss journey. This is something that you can look at for the end of your journey to maintain your weight. 
Okay, so let's wipe all this off and go into weight loss. Actually, while I'm doing this, let's wipe this off and then I'll talk about strength range. So, on the Monday with the general, if you're going to do strength, your rep ranges will be between six and eight. On the general workout, anywhere from 10 to 15 reps. Okay, let's get into the weight loss. Again, we've got Monday to Friday, weight loss program. There are so many different types. Think about it. How many times have you seen an advertise? something advertised for a 12 week challenge. Lose the, as much weight as you can in 12 weeks. Be the biggest loser. Things like that show up on TV, Facebook, Instagram, all those sorts of places. A 12 week challenge is designed to get you to lose the most amount of weight the fastest. But at the end of that 12 weeks, or the end of the eight weeks, 10 weeks, whatever their challenge may be, what happens after? Do you continue on with that trainer and continue on losing the weight or maintaining the weight? Not a lot of trainers will continue on with you after that. Once they've got you through their 12 week thing, they start the next one and the next one and the next one and so on and so forth. A 12 week program with weight management is a little bit different. So a 12 week program will be each each week, Monday to Friday, you'll have your workout plan, which we'll go into in just a second. But you'll have all your workouts, you'll have a meal plan, just like a 12 week challenge, but the meal plan will be more structured to you dropping the weight, maintaining the weight loss, and continuing on through and after that 12 weeks, at the, end of that, at the end of 12 weeks, this doesn't stop. This changes. So the next 12 weeks starts and you continue on. We don't stop. We just go in 12 week blocks, so to speak. So every three months, we'll change up your program, we'll change up your exercise, or your exercise will change every six weeks. So you will have two different types of programs in a 12 week program for exercise. Your Meal plans, or I won't say meal plan, I'll say more structured eating habits or change of dietary intake will change in micro changes as we discussed last week. Now, I know this seems a lot like school, I've got a whiteboard, I've got a text out, and I sound like a teacher. And the reason why the whiteboard's here is so you can get a visual of what I'm talking about at the same time. Because when I jumped onto Google before and had a look at what these fitness programs are, weight loss programs, I couldn't find any information without having to pay someone to give you even just a general rundown of what to do for yourself to take that first step in a journey. So this is my... My idea is to give you all the tools to be able to start your own journey. I'm also here to take clients as well. I'm happy to take any questions via Facebook on the GT Fitness and Lifestyles like page. No harm in asking questions, no harm in asking for a little bit of help. That's what we're here for. All right, guys, so let's get back into it. So. For a weight loss program, it'll be completely different. As you've seen, I've gone through a three-day split. So it'll be full body here, full body workout, nothing on a Tuesday, full body, and full body. So Again, as I structured before, three day workout, two compound exercises for each muscle group each day. And this week has been focused on pushing the rep maxes or weight, pushing my weights to see how much I can 
push. Okay, so another another way of this is this is just a beginning, a beginner's way. On these days, is you can do like I had before, cardio, cardio, and in that full body. We can add in at the end, say we've got our six exercises that cover our legs, our back, our chest, which also covers our shoulders and arms. We can add in core, core after, core, and core, because a strong core makes you more stable. And in every movement that I put into my programs, I make sure that every exercise we do includes our core strength. Helps build more core strength in everything I do in my programming. Okay, alongside having a program like this, this might last four to six weeks. Okay, I'm, I've hit that point where I, I'm not feeling it anymore. I need a change. That's when we go into a five day split where we will go something similar to this. So I would, for me, I'd go legs on Monday, back on Tuesday, chest on Wednesday, shoulders Thursday, and arms on Friday. So that'll be a five day split. For me, that's for muscle building. Now, for just in general weight loss, I would probably go legs and back. Hit cardio. Actually, no, I would do that differently. Not back. Come to think of it, it would be legs. So, legs, shoulders. Hit the lower and the very upper. Hit cardio. Here would be back and chest. Cardio, core, and here would be arm still, arm still, but adding in abs. So along with everything else, hitting all the body parts, hit cardio is going to be the hardest one because it is high intensity interval training. So that high intensity <coughs> is going to get everything moving faster, you're gonna burn more, it's gonna help straight off that extra unwanted weight. Moving on, say we're into our second 12 week or third 12 week program, that would become both days these would ramp up from legs and shoulders to legs, shoulders, core, back, chest, core, arms, abs, and core. So you'd have hit here, hit here, and core on every day that you're in the gym using the weights. Another way is just breaking up the structure a little bit differently. Even doing, even doing a leg hit style workout, or back hit, and really pushing the weights in a hit style, in really heavy intervals. Obviously, it'll continue on chest, shoulders, arms, 
in a hit style as well. But again, that is more advanced later on. Let's take all this off for a minute. So how do we structure a, a what exercises do we structure for what and where and how? Let's take all this off. Do we go to a gym? Do we go and seek out a gym membership? You do not have to seek out a gym membership to start off. If you're confident, you can use body weight exercises. These can be at home workouts. So push ups. Just for instance, push-ups. There are so many different ways you can do a push-up. Uh, air squats. We'll call them air squats, body weight squats, air squat. Air squats for your back. Um, you can lie under the table and do an inverted row. Ahead of myself. Inverted row. So you'd lie under the table and then pull yourself up. Uh, another one, dips. Dips on a chair. I'll cover that um, in a workout later on how to do dips on a chair, but I'll use the bench. But you can do the same on a chair or even a, a step, a, uh, a pole in the park. trying to think of another exercise you can do at home. Empty milk bottles. If you haven't got weights or anything, you want to add a little bit of weight to be able to do things like a bent over row or anything like that, you can fill up a milk bottle. Milk bottle for weight. With water, sand, whichever. There are so many different ways around. There are so many ways around it. There's so many different ways to do things, guys. These are just general tips. I can cover more later over exercise. I'll probably cover something over exercises and what I choose to do, and how I choose to do them later on. Right now, this is just about programming and what you can do in a program. But when you're structuring your program at home, if you're trying to do it at home, remember to always go with the larger muscle first and then work your way down from the largest muscles to the smaller muscles. Largest muscle in the body is your legs. It's the biggest group of muscles. There is seven different parts to the upper part of the leg and there's about four or five that you work in your lower leg especially in a workout. So your calves have got about three different parts in it. And then you've also got the, your shins as well. Back is your next one. So when you're structuring again, always remember to work your back. And especially if you're finding that your posture is a lot like this and not like this, you wanna stretch your chest and strengthen your back. So again, Opposing muscles, or make sure you work the all opposing muscles. Chest is the final one, being the, the next biggest group. And after that, it'll be your shoulders and arms. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it at that. I hope this was informative. If there's any questions, please leave a comment. And as I said before, if there's anything else you'd like me to cover, or you've got some questions you don't want in the comments, please head over to GT Fitness and Lifestyles on Facebook. Send us an inbox. I'll get back to you and answer your question. Once again, thank you for joining us and thank you for joining me on this journey. This week, I will cover a little bit more on the journey at the end of my week, just before I 
transfer over onto a five day program. Again, guys, thank you. I will see you for a workout video later today.